What's up everyone? My name is Shaylin and on this channel everything's all right. This is my last meal. <laughs> I wish I was kidding. Not forever, but until Monday afternoon, I think. You guys know I like to talk about, not controversial, but like things that not a lot of people talk about on the internet on my channel. So this is gonna be another one of those videos. Here's your trigger warning now. If you're grossed out by medical talk or poop talk, <laughs> Not that I'm gonna be doing a lot of poop talk, but it's gonna come up a couple of times at least because I'm getting a colonoscopy on Monday. <laughs> Today is Saturday, June 10th. I have to do my prep for my procedure tomorrow, which is the 11th, and then I have my colonoscopy on Monday the 12th at like 9 a.m. or something. Oh, I wanted to show you guys. <laughs> I am so serious about this. The general consensus of getting colonoscopies is like first one when you're 50 or 55 or something like that. I'm not entirely sure, but these things aren't really supposed to happen until you're older. But as you guys know, nothing about my life is normal. I had a stroke when I was 17. Usually only older people have strokes but obviously that's not the case, as I've repeatedly said on my channel. But I'm very serious about this. My mom did it and she was really sick <laughs> from it because she didn't have any instructions given to her when she was given the solution that you have to drink. So <laughs> this is my, I don't know if you guys can read it, but it says colonoscopy guide. I have steps and rules. The steps I have, 10 steps that started on the 8th, which was Thursday, which I guess is four days before the procedure. You're not supposed to have any seeds, corn or nuts. I kind of broke that rule a little bit. I had watermelon that had little white seeds in it on Thursday, unfortunately. But I don't think it'll be that big a deal, especially because I will disclose that to my GI doctor beforehand just in case, I don't know. The second step, which is happening right now, is the last day of solids until midnight is today. So I got a foot long sub from Subway because yum, first of all. I know Panera has good subs. I know Firehouse subs is good, Jersey Mike's. They're all good, but I have like a nostalgia thing with Subway um, and I've been craving Subway for the last like week or so, so. I thought I'd feed that craving before I starve myself. So because I got a foot long, I'm gonna eat half now and then at like 11 p.m. tonight, I'm gonna eat the other half. That way I can get as much food in as possible before I have to stop eating at midnight until Monday. So basically, <laughs> I'll be talking through the steps with you guys. Obviously, this is gonna be kind of vlog style, but I wanted to kind of get this out of the way for right now. I'm gonna be honest, I was really stressed about this whole situation for a really long time. Cause I think I booked this appointment or this procedure back in like February or March or something like that. It's been a long time that I've had to marinate with this idea of this coming. But basically I was really scared for the procedure itself all of those nerves are gone. I know it's just gonna be a breeze. I'm gonna get knocked out and then I'm gonna wake up like nothing happened. <laughs> At the most, I might have some soreness in my throat from being intubated. But now, my nerves are mostly coming from what I'm gonna go through tomorrow on Sunday when I have to starve myself. <laughs> Cause you guys, I am the worst person when I'm hangry and I get hangry very easily. If I'm hungry, don't talk to me. Literally don't talk to me. <laughs> I'm so mean. And that's the one thing I'm most scared of. I just don't want to be a mean person to my husband. Like, I feel bad that he's going to have to be around me tomorrow. Luckily, he's working tonight, so he'll be sleeping most of the day tomorrow. I'm going to try my hardest, I think, to sleep most of the day tomorrow so I don't have to deal with the hunger pains. I did prep, however. It's not that you're not supposed to ingest anything. 
like you can have clear liquids, but that means you can't have things that are like foggy. Like specifically, you can't have pineapple juice. You can't have orange juice. Um, you can't have like creamy broths. You can only have like clear chicken broth. Um, so I have that for my dinner tomorrow. I have jello in the fridge, apple juice, because I said you could have apple juice, ginger ale. Um, I have some bubbly, like the carbonated flavored water. A whole bunch of water because I have to drink 120 ounces of clear liquid to help it kind of process and to not get sick like my mom did the one time. So. I'm gonna be on it and I'm gonna drink as much freaking water as possible. I have so many water bottles in my fridge right now. <laughs> I thought I would just bring you guys through the process in case some of you have to go through this soon or in the future when you have to, you can come back to this video just to kind of ease your nerves so that you can have somebody else going through it with you. <laughs> I'm not gonna show me like pooping or anything so don't worry about that. I guess I will see you at my final meal tonight. <laughs> okay, it is... Ignore my washer. I'm washing my gym shoes. <laughs> um, it's almost 10 p.m. So in an hour about, I'm going to eat the rest of my sub. This is my lovely best friend for tomorrow. The solution, if you're wondering, is called Go Lightly. <laughs> they say to fill it up with water the day before so that it can get nice and cold in your fridge. So that's what I'm gonna do. Filtering water, so hopefully I can get enough because this is freaking huge. This bottle is weird though, look at it, it doesn't sit flat. Why is it so bulgy? <laughs> I just wanna know where I fill it to, like is it, is it this line? Oh, <laughs> it says fill line right on it. I was thinking I was gonna have to fill it like all the way up to like here. Okay, that makes me feel slightly better, but not really. Oh! Are you kidding? This entire pitcher only filled to here, like not even half. How the hell am I gonna drink all of this? I will fill her up again. Oh my God. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Oh, Brita filter number two. Okay, I won't eat a full Brita filter for the rest of it, but like, oh my god. Almost 11. I know it's late to be eating, but I'm not going to be able to eat for the next 34 and a half hours. <laughs> I was rifling through my fridge and my pantry just now to find a drink that I won't be able to drink tomorrow so that I can get out of my system now. The only thing I have is tart cherry juice and this purple Gatorade. Those are the only two things that I have that I won't be able to drink tomorrow because everything else is things that I've bought specifically for tomorrow. <laughs> I can't have this tomorrow because you're not supposed to have red, purple, or orange dye, so. Bottoms up, girl. I did not realize. <laughs> I literally feel like such a clown. I got Subway, right? You guys know this. I got spinach, tomato, cucumbers, pickles, and sauce. What am I not supposed to have since Thursday? Seeds, nuts, or corn. What does cucumbers, pickles, and tomatoes have? Seeds. Doy. I am going to pick them all off. It's like the best part of it. Very spinach heavy now. <laughs> On the bright side, I have my favorite cookies from Subway, which is the double chocolate ones, and they are fresh. 
<laughs> it's Sunday. 3.30 p.m. Which means two and a half hours until I need to drink the horrible stuff. <laughs> also, I'm sorry for what I'm going to look like in this video, but I'm not going to put makeup on. It's just not going to be worth it. I haven't eaten anything since 15 and a half hours ago, so I'm getting hungry. So I thought that the carbonation with this ginger ale would help me not feel so hungry and also help with my nausea when I start drinking that stuff because it I know it's gonna taste bad and I'm saying that because if you guys didn't know ginger helps with nausea so ginger ale it's what people drink when they're sick mm, fulfilling <laughs> hopefully this helps me get through the next couple hours and then i won't have to really worry about being full so much anymore because drinking that stuff it's so much i know i'm gonna be so full uh, see you at six turn on my timer app because I have to drink half of this every 15 minutes so get 15 minutes ready to go I think I'm just gonna fill it up to the full pint because then that's 16 ounces which means I need to drink this full thing in 30 minutes so just easier I don't know Oh no. Oh my god. It's 59. Okay, we'll start with half. Oh no. Well, okay, so as long as I get this down by the time it's 6.15, I don't need a timer. To just chug it. This is gonna be hell. Oh my god. I need a sweater. I'm like getting cold. It's so bad. That's the best way I can describe it. I just don't like how salty it is. It's not even salty to me. It's just like it tastes thick. I don't know how that makes sense, but like it just tastes like there's like volume in the water. You know? <laughs> you want to smell it? <laughs> it doesn't smell like anything. Mm, never mind. I'm so glad this is you right now. Not Fuck me. you. not gonna be okay <laughs> I'd be okay if this was salty but it's just weird <sighs> I have to get this down to this line that I drew this much and I've gotten down not even this much <laughs> okay I have 11 minutes to get this down it's not even chuggable. Like, if you can help it, don't get a colonoscopy. Oh my god, I want bread so bad. I have 10 minutes. Oh my god. Whoever said to drink this cold, it's probably better for the taste, but it's making me so cold. I just wish I could add some like flavor to it. The jug says that I can't mix 
flavor in it, but can I? What do you mean, flavor? Like, that old crystal light we have? Because it's, it's just so hard. <laughs> you only have that much left to go. I can't. Like, I feel like I'm already going to throw up. Um, yeah, I mean, that's why I mix mine with Gatorade. It says not to. Why does it say that? Yeah, it's usually fine. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Oops, sorry. She's doing her prep. Ooh, I know this is going to be better. And on top of everything else, like, just try to be drinking other things too, because you're going to, when you do start going to the bathroom, like, you're going to get really crabby. Yeah. Five minutes. I can do it. Oh. That didn't make it any better. Nope. <laughs> Oh god. <sighs> 20 seconds. I put crystal light in it because I couldn't do it. I don't know, like I think the coldness is helping with the flavor, but it's making me so cold. Ah, uh, no. It's what I'm doing, but like... Hmm? Yeah. So I, I am eating a Okay, well, I just wanted to let you know I'm dying. <laughs> I know, it's gonna be rough, but you'll get through it. You can do it. What I had to get in my head was I'm never doing this again. <laughs> this is fine. I'm doing this. <laughs> <laughs> if you can help it, you might have to. Okay, enjoy your food. Love you. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye. Maybe if I have a distraction like a YouTube video. Why are all the videos eating food? <laughs> it's all food videos. Okay. Well, never mind then. We're gonna watch my show on Hulu, Firefly Lane. Is it Hulu? No, it's Netflix. Six minutes and 40 seconds left until my next one. I think that one was easier than the first one. Go for round three. I feel like we're just about halfway to halfway <laughs> with three glasses. I'll see you when it's time for the third glass. Update, <laughs> I cried. 45 seconds until I have to start drinking this. I think I'll just get a head start. It's really not as bad with this. My husband said I'm gonna start feeling the urge to go to the bathroom by like an hour after I start drinking. So 30 minutes from now. Maybe sooner because I feel a rumbly in my tumbly. <sighs> I might have to go to the bathroom. That was fast. Ugh. Third one down. Since my alarm went off in the middle of my first BM, I don't feel right. I wasn't expecting that to work so fast. <sighs> so cold and I feel so nauseous. I just feel not good. <laughs> Glass number four. 
There's only so many times that you can put yourself in the mindset of being so parched. At this point, I'm like, girl, I just can't wait because after this, it's going to be dinner time. So not after this, but after I'm done the half. Once it's dinner time, then I can make my chicken broth. <laughs> Yay. How about this? I'll take my first sip and then I will hop back on here when I'm taking my last sip. Okay, <laughs> see you when it's done. I don't think I've had another sip since that first sip because I don't think I can do it, I'm dying. But I have to go to the bathroom again, so. I think I'm starting to look pale. I can't tell. But I've decided I need something else to consume. So I'm gonna make my chicken broth now. <laughs> I'm done with the time limit, 15 minute thing. I'm drinking at my own pace because regardless, I'm gonna poo my brains out. I almost threw up looking at that. I'm gonna go lay down. I'm not okay. I don't know how people do this. I literally feel like I'm not alive. I feel like I'm on drugs. I had to start drinking normal water because I think I was gonna die. Oh my god, shaking. I just had to run to the bathroom again to, you know. <laughs> I still haven't gotten down the fourth cup, by the way. Okay, new game plan. I'm going to not move for the rest of the night. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm going to have to run to the bathroom probably a lot. Sit here with my heated blanket. Ugh, feels so much better already. On full blast. Drinking a lot more water. A lot more. If you guys are going through this or have to go through this soon, don't wait until you drink your amounts to mix in water. You need just water. You do, I promise. Um, I also brought my chicken broth, the devil drink, another water bottle so I don't have to go get another one, and my jello. And I'm gonna put my Netflix show on and I'm going to survive. I can literally feel the color coming back into my face. I was like white at one point because of how sick I felt. And not only that, but I got so cold that my nail beds on my left hand were blue. Like, blue. Wish me luck. <laughs> this is still glass number four, if you're wondering. <laughs> Three and a half hours that I've been working on this. I'm not even halfway done the amount that I'm supposed to get down. And tomorrow morning, at three in the morning, I'm supposed to get down that entire amount that I'm supposed to that I haven't yet, in two hours. <laughs> so, I'm gonna be drinking this stuff all night. I'm not even probably gonna be able to sleep. I don't know why they tell you to start at 6 p.m. because this is just so unreasonable. If I ever have to do this again, I'm starting way earlier. Obviously, you can tell I'm in better spirits though. My trick has been chicken broth and water and jello. I also wasn't updating you, but I went to the bathroom like, several times. <laughs> I literally think I'm gonna have to drink more than I'm supposed to tonight just so I can get all of it down by the time that I'm supposed to tomorrow. I'm never doing this again so I want to get it all down so that I don't ever have to do it again. Ugh. Let's make the fifth one. It is 10 to 10. Wish me luck. <laughs> Number five down. One more and I met my goal. Except I'm gonna have to do more. Oh, also. 
almost 11 p.m. I have to be up in like four hours. We did it. Not yet. I have to drink this and then we did it until tomorrow morning. I have to poo. Number five, I think. Yum. I'm technically done for the night, but I'm gonna drink maybe one more. Maybe two, but probably just one. Because I wanna make it easier on myself tomorrow, or in three and a half hours. Because I'll only have two hours to finish it, so. One more. I'm gonna try to chug this one. Ding. Let's see how long it takes me. Good morning, you guys. As you can see behind me, it's definitely not 3 a.m. <laughs> it's actually almost 6. I woke up approximately 30 minutes ago in a panic because not only was I supposed to start drinking the rest of the solution at 3, I was also supposed to not ingest anything else, like not even water after 5 a.m. So we both kind of just came to the conclusion that I should try and chug as much as I can until 6. Obviously it's not exactly 6 yet. Honestly I'm scared because <laughs> there is a thing where you're supposed to fast before like going under anesthesia so you don't vomit during the procedure. So I think I'm just gonna keep drinking water until 6. I have about 10 minutes. So, I don't know how this is going to go. This might be a failed colonoscopy prep vlog. I don't know. I'm so mad. <laughs> I'm going to start getting ready because now I only have about an hour and a half to get ready. And I still want to make like a nice big bowl of pasta with garlic bread for after. <laughs> I will see you guys at the hospital. Hey everybody, I hope that this goes well. We just got here. Um, yeah, I guess I will see you when I get out. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not too crazy. <laughs>
thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Follow me on all my socials linked in the description down below. And I'll see you next week for another new video. And I won't be drugged up. I promise.